Hey guys, welcome back, Klepnik here, and today I have a paint program thing in Minecraft. So, um, I've made a paint program within Minecraft in the new snapshot, snapshot, 14w, um, w10c. So, um, here are all my brushes that I have for my paint program. So, I got the stamp, so I can go and use that. And as you can see, a big smiley face comes down and I can rub that out by throwing that on and it's gone and this will work anywhere so if I come over here throw down this as you can see it works and then I can rub it out um, next I have my custom brush setter so what I can do with this is I can throw this down and it comes up with this big diamond region and it says please build uh, your custom build inside this region so you can build in the ground and you can build on top like that so say if I wanted to build a quick I don't know chair so we can get some stairs um, some stairs and then we can get a fence and then we can get some glowstone maybe so then we can get like do something like this, um, maybe that, and then a lamp post behind the chair. So say if we wanted to reuse this, maybe one higher. So say if we wanted to reuse this and like have this set as our custom brush, we can. So as you can see, that's in the floor too. And then, so I want to use this. So once I'm done. I can pull this lever and it says do you want to use this as your custom brush so I can click yes and then it says your custom brush has successfully been set so now all you have to do is click the clear button and it will get rid of all that so now I've set it but now I can use it so if I splash this down as you can see it's right there um, I can use it again and just to show that and it also can cut off bits um, and just to show if I um, I can use my airbrush to rub this out so I'll show you so I can get rid of that by doing that and then airbrush that and then rubber and I can just get rid of that by hand Alright, so just to show you that that wasn't preset, so I can come in here again. And I, now I can build another thing, another chair. This time it's more roundish. <laughs> and it has um, a it has a bush in the middle. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just have something like that. It's a pretty ugly build, but why isn't that okay? <laughs> Pretend that's our build. Let's just say we're happy with that, and then we can click yes, I want to use this, and then we can click clear, and now we can call on this again by using our custom brush. And as you can see, here it is. It's even got the stairs in the um so it's saved and then we can just get rid of it using the airbrush and then we can rub it out using the rubber brush okay next is the paintbrush so I can get rid of all these so if I use this paintbrush I'll come up and say paintbrushes and it gives gives me all these colors um, and also it gives me a rubber so I can use orange and now I can draw a picture on the floor so wherever I walk oh god <laughs> um, so wherever I walk it will draw a picture um, using that color and then say I, I wanted to use, oh, say I want to use another color I could use um, magenta and then now we've got like a little umbrella thing <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then say 
So we accidentally made a mistake here, so we can turn on rubber and it gets rid of it. So this works with all the colors. I've made it work with all the colors. So cyan, as you can see, it works there. Um, so we can get rid of all that. So, and then if we want to fly away, so we can click clear brush. So now, like, we're not using any brushes. So um, that's that. And I've shown you these two already, so it's just a rubber brush. So we can rub out. So now I'll show you how this works. Alright, so here we are at the mechanism. So um, let me just stop the clock. So there's a clock rapidly pulsing this. So this is for the... Actually, I'll show you that one last. But um, there's a clock rap rapidly pulsing this, so it keeps the turning on and off and um, that powers this rapidly and what, th what that is this is doing is testing if I have um, I think this is I think that might be let me have a look rubber fire resistance so this is checking if I have fire resistance if I do it's gonna come here it's gonna fill this area over here between that green pillar and that green pillar of grass. So once it's done that, it's going to then clone that area to where I'm standing. And then um, it does that by using the new execute command. It's going to execute at me. So I just did entity. I could have done at player, but I just did it like that. And then, um, and then where I'm standing and then clone that area to where I'm standing negative four, negative one, negative five, so that roughly puts that region in the middle. So that's what, that's how the rubber works. Next is the uh, airbrush. Just testing if I have, um, I think that ID might be, let me have a look, airbrush, it's strength. All right, so if I have strength, um, what it's gonna do, it's going to fill that same area with air and then it's going to clone that air, area with air to me and then put it roughly in the middle. So that's how the airbrush works. Next is if I have, I think this might be invisibility, I think. This is custom brush actually, I think that that's if I have speed. No, it's not. Hold on. Custom brush setter. Okay, it's so a setter. So the setter is invisibility. Yeah. So if I have invisibility. Oh, wait. No. <laughs> wait. Custom. Custom. Oh, it's probably night vision. So this is. Yeah, this is night vision. If I have night vision, what it's going to do is going to clone. Actually, I'll tell you this bit last too. Because that's to do. That ties in with that one over there. So. This one, if I have the effect slowness, it's then gonna activate this massive tail raw command. It is massive, so I'll show you it in a Word document. All right, so here's a whole tail raw command. It's pretty big. So that's the biggest tail raw command I've ever written. Um, I didn't use any tools to make it, so yeah. So let me just jump back into Minecraft. That's what's inside this command block. So if I click done, it's right there on the side. So um, that's what gets activated. And what that does is get a redstone thing. It puts that into my chat. And what that says, if I click white, it's going to place a redstone block here. If I click orange, it's going to click place the redstone block here, if I click purple, or is this purple? Magenta. If I click magenta, it's going to place one um, a redstone block here and um, do that for the whole thing. Um, <coughs> the way this works, so th this is like an ink cartridge. Everything's like an ink cartridge. Um, so if I place this, what it's going to do is it's going to activate this and it's going to start a, a clock and that's going to execute it's going to make me execute a command set block underneath me Minecraft wall 
and then for the orange one it does makes me execute set block underneath me wall but one that is the ID for orange so as you can see 35 and then it's got slash one that's what that one means so then it knows it's gonna be orange um, and because once I've set this down so if I get white it's gonna place a block here if I wanted to straight away change to gray it would have to get rid of this block that's here and then place one at gray um, and the way I did that was by doing fill this whole area with redstone I mean air so replace all the redstone blocks in this area from down here to all the way up here with air so replace all the redstone blocks of air and then but that will only happen if this gets powered and this will only get powered if there's a redstone block here so it will get rid of all the redstone blocks here and then it will place a redstone block back here so then we know that that just got powered so then we can actually change from brown to dark blue without having to go dark green to and then clear brush and then click brown so it's just easier and um, the way the clear brush works is when I click that it just gets rid of this whole area gets rid of the redstone blocks in this area and um, the rubber brush the rubber thing here is it's just the same thing but it says grass on the floor so that's how that works and then the stamp is effect with I'm not sure what the question is and then um, it makes me do a command clone this area over here um, to where I'm standing so I'm standing on the nose that's what the last um, coordinate coordinates mean so that's what that's how the stamp works so now um, I'll show you how the custom brush setter works so if I come here it's testing if I have speed if I do have speed it's going to clone that diamond region over to where I'm standing now this diamond region has everything you would expect but right underneath where it so it clones it like that and when that happens it's gonna TP a silver fish with the name copy underneath me one block so there's a silver fish sitting in this area right there where that block where this block is. Um, once it's done that, I can build around that. So it straight away TPs the silverfish there. And then I can build around here. And then, um, but it, it doesn't do it right there. It teleports this clone area to wherever I'm standing by doing that execute command. Um, and as you can see, first it kills all the silverfish, and then it comes up here, and then it TP, TP it summons the silverfish, and um, that silverfish, it, it makes me execute summon silverfish negative two blocks underneath me. So then it's in that hole, and um, <coughs> and it has a custom name copy. So then, once that's done, is when I click that, um, what do you call it, the tell raw command button over here, to do, do you want to use a custom brush, oh god, <laughs> do you want to use a custom brush, when I click yes, what that does is, um, it comes here, and it places a redstone, um, a redstone block here it comes here and it executes at the silver fish with the name copy which was um, located in a certain area underneath me in that diamond area clone it clone this region um, 
clone that region relative to where the silverfish is and paste that in this orange area. So then with that silverfish we can re we can know wherever um, this diamond region is. So then we can copy it. So then it copies whatever was in that region into here. So this is where our saved thing is. And then all we have to do is click the clear button. So it tells us in the chat by this tell raw command is saying um, your custom brush has successfully been set. All you have to do is click clear. And then when I click the clear button, it places a redstone block here, powers this saying um, execute at the silverfish, fill the diamond region at the top with, so fill everything um, that's not touching, that's above the grass with um, air, so the diamond thing's gone. And then it comes here and, wait, hold on, it comes here, it says fill that and then it fills the bottom too with grass. So then it looks like it wasn't there. And then it comes here and kills a silverfish. Um, and then it sets this block back to air, which this one does too. And then if we want to call on our <coughs> custom brush that was set, we go to our custom brush brush <laughs> so um which is this so it tests if we have a certain potion if we do it's going to clone that area inside that orange wall to wherever i'm standing so then we have this where we are standing which was in our custom brush area so that's how that works um it was a bit complicated um, it's just using relative coordinates to copy things and all that, but, um, hopefully I explained it well enough, <laughs> and, um, yeah, so that's about it, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like on the video, and as always guys, stay clappy.